XK2303. This is where Bert and Mary stop for tea. <laughs> That's before the Disney magic was added. Mr. Travers, we love Green Sleeves too, but it's not an original song for the film. Later on, we did use a little flavor of that. Even the voices were separated. It's super califragilistic, expialidocious, even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious. We had Julie singing, and we had Dick singing, and then we had the, the um -did littlers in the background, them singing also. So we had quite a bit of separation to make this simple little song. This short scene was cut after a preview screening. Come along, Michael. Now here's a really rare outtake. This is Julie as Mary Poppins yodeling to get the special staircase, that little smokestack staircase to form. And it wasn't used, and it's a bit of an outtake, but it's fun. Watch, watch take a look at this one. <laughs> XK2042. Perhaps I was a little out of character for Mary Poppins. You know, Erwin Kostel, the brilliant arranger conductor of our film, actually scored the entire fireworks sequence. It's an amazing feat of orchestration and creativity. Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. You know who finally wound up doing the whistling? Julie. Julie did the whistling for the bird. We had a, we actually had a, a professional whistler come in and do some of it, but when Walt heard it and everything, it didn't have the personality, and Julie said, oh, I can do it. She's a great whistler. <laughs> we did record a version, it wasn't used, for the birds, singing the last line. In the most delightful way. We had a lovely time. 